Hi friends, welcome to my April TBR. So April has arrived and it is the time where in just a few short weeks I shall be done with exams and done with another school year and once again free to read all that I want and whatever I want. In celebration of that, I have a rather large TBR. I am planning to read eight books this month and with any luck, even more than that. So let's begin. The first book I plan to read goes along with my classic TBR for 2015 and this month was supposed to be Dickens and it is still Dickens but instead of reading Oliver Twist I decided to go a little different and read A Tale of Two Cities. It still astounds me that I have not read any Dickens whatsoever so I'm going to rectify that this month by reading this book about... This is completely embarrassing that I actually still don't quite know what this is about. I think this is the one with Pip in it. I mean I think Matilda mentioned it in passing in Roald Dahl's book, Matilda. But anyway, I shall be reading A Tale of Two Cities from my lovely Oprah Book Club edition. The next book I plan to read is in accordance to this little TBR I set up where these books will either be donated after reading them or they'll go back to my homestead where my dad lives until, you know, I get a house and, uh, of my own. And this month's pick is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle. Lingle, Lingle, um, I'm sorry. So it's about this girl Meg and there is a fifth fifth dimension. I don't know too much else about it except that it is a Newbery winner. It is a classic and I should have read this long before now so I'm going to read it now. I also really wanted to knock out a couple of newer books uh, that I got and so one of them will be I Was Here by Gail Foreman. This is about a girl named Cody and her best friend Meg has committed suicide and she has a deeper involvement than what would appear on the surface. This is Gail Foreman's uh, newest and I love Gail Foreman so much. She has such a wonderful way of writing that I find is very raw and true to life. She really understands, like, the human psyche. It's not that big either, so I'm really looking forward to getting to this. And the next book that I'm going to read, and it is really a celebration of spring, and it is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This is in my top five favorite books of all time to this day. I have read it dozens of times and I've decided to make it a tradition to reread it every spring. I feel like I did last year too but yeah so it's been like over a year since I've read this. It's not I don't even know if it's in my Goodreads but yes if you don't know anything about this story it is about a 10 year old girl named Mary Lennox whose parents uh, die in an earthquake in India and so she is sent to England to live with her um, crippled uncle. Well he's not crippled per se he's like a hunchback and he walks with a cane. But yes, as soon as she arrives, there's a bunch of, like, this house is all completely shrouded in mystery. There is a crying voice in the night. There's a mysterious garden that no one has been inside for 10 years. There is a boy that can talk to animals. It's just this mysterious, wonderful story, and I love it so much, and I will read this book again and again. And the next book that I will be planning on reading is The Miserable Mill by Lemony Snicket. This is the fourth book in a series of unfortunate events, and in this episode, the Baudelaire's go to live at a mill of some kind and work there. And of course, once they get there, they realize that th their nemesis has followed them there. Count Olaf works there, of course, and he's going to, he's come up with a new scheme to steal the Baudelaire fortune. I've really been enjoying rereading this series thus far, so of course I'm excited to see what happens next. Another book that I will be planning on reading is Men Explain Things to Me and Other Essays by Rebecca Solnit. Like the title says, this is a book of essays. It is a book of feminist essays. This book has had great reviews and I'm just getting into feminist writing, so yeah. So those are the ones for my TBR but I have two others that I'm that are a part of the eight books that I am currently reading. So the first one is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. This is the part this is part of the inspiration that inspired me to pick up men explain things to me because I realized I want to read more nonfiction and so I've decided that before bed each night when I do my reading it's going to be strictly nonfiction. So this has been really great. I'm actually like almost almost done it. And the last book that I plan on finishing is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I was not expecting to pick this up um, this past month in March, but I finished my TBR early and wanted to start something new, and so I'm around 30 pages maybe into this, and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not like completely enveloped in the world yet, but I am enjoying it, and I am looking forward to seeing what happens. All right, guys, that's my April TBR. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of the books that I am about to read, because I would love to hear 
prior opinions. Also, let me know what books you're planning on reading in April. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you soon with a new video. Bye, everyone.